Hi everybody. I hope you're ready for another week of NS Boro Connect 2.0. You know, sometimes the simplest things in history can be some of the most important ones. This week we're going to take a closer look at railroads in the American West. Now I know what you're thinking. Railroad sounds kind of boring, right? Well, it's safe to say that the development of railroads in general and the building of the Transcontinental Railroad in particular was critical in ushering in the era of a modern interconnected economy in the United States. The building of railroads in the West was more than just a construction project. It ushered in a new way of life for many and a new identity for a nation that was now connected from one ocean to another. You don't need to be an expert on railroads to understand their importance. They remain today a vital part of the American economy. Millions of miles traveled, billions of dollars worth of freight, and you can trust me on that, I looked numbers up and got pretty overwhelmed by just how big they were. There are railroad tracks in use all over America, whether you even notice them or not, in your town, in my town, all over the country. Because of railroads, America changed in the late 1800s. Cowboys and cattle drives they came and they went. You know, you can thank the invention of barbed wire and refrigerated rail cars for the end of that particular profession. But you know, it's still a pretty cool part of the American story. But it's not all, not, it's not all fun and games and stories of economic prosperity. The building of the Transcontinental Railroad highlighted the exploitation and unequal treatment of Chinese laborers. These workers made an enormous contribution to the economic prosperity of the nation. They completed hazardous, hazardous and sometimes deadly work. And despite this, they were met with enormous discrimination and eventually a law called the Chinese Exclusion Act, which completely banned Chinese immigration and denied access to citizenship to Chinese living in the United States. It was an overt act of racial discrimination on the part of the US government. This week, you have a few tasks that will help you explore some of these topics. First, you're gonna do some reading from a high quality online textbook. It will introduce some of these important ideas to you and expand upon some of the things I've talked about. Next, I have a short video that talks a little bit about both the Transcontinental Railroad and the specific contribution of Chinese workers. Your third task this week will be to explore a variety of resources related specifically to the Chinese Exclusion Act and to reflect on some of what you see and read. In addition to the Chinese Exclusion Act, to the Transcontinental Railroad having economic impacts, the continued movement of white populations from east to west contributed to additional conflicts with Native Americans. And that's a topic we're going to explore more next week. We will have, as usual, a couple of short Zoom check-ins just to see how things are going and to discuss some of the topics and some of the things you've been learning this week. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions, and I look forward to seeing you in class.